guys welcome back to my channel um, I just thought today I felt like doing just a quick and easy simple greeting card um, so I've already kind of pre-cut out my card base and I've already um, basically cut the ribbon that I'm going to use uh, but I did want to go through showing you guys the products that I'm using for this card um, so I'm going to do that now. Okay, so for this card, I am using this um, 12 by 12 um, card stock stack from Momenta. And this one right here uh, is double sided papers. I'm just going to do a quick uh, flip through to let you guys see these uh, different papers. I really like them pretty little vibrant colors in there just to flip through and today I feel like doing a thank you card I like to make all my cards in um, pairs so I've already pre-cut two sets of um, cards and embellishments for this video um, I will only be uh, doing one card on camera okay so I have some regular white heavyweight cardstock. I've cut it down to 5 by 7 and I've cut the corners using my um, corner uh, my uh, corner punch and this I got it's by the paper studio it's from um, Hobby Lobby I got it for 50% off uh, one day but I really like it and I usually cut opposite Corners. I don't know. I think it looks really nice on cards. So this is a five by seven card base. Okay, and from that paper stack, I use um, I cut this piece um, from that from that paper stack, and I'm gonna mat this piece with this aqua blue. This is basil cardstock, and I found a whole stack of different colors. This is um, from um, Tuesday morning. And um, basil is really good uh, quality cardstock, and I thought that was just a real good deal, and I couldn't pass it up, so I got like four packs of those papers. So I'm gonna map that on to there. And also, I wanted to add some texture to this card, um, so I've gotten um, a piece of that um, designer paper, and I've cut it to go across my card. And I use this texture plate uh, by Tim Holtz uh, Alterations and Sizzix. And I ran it through my Big Kick machine um, just to give my card a little bit of texture. I actually ran it through with two passes and I almost went straight through the paper. Um, that's okay, it looks a little distressed, um, but that's fine. And I'm going to be using this ribbon from American Crafts. And I also got this ribbon from um, Tuesday morning. And y'all, I got a whole pack of this ribbon, and it was just $5.99, different colors from Tuesday morning. So definitely, if you have Tuesday morning or a store like Tuesday morning in your area, definitely check it out for uh, crafting supplies because I go by there about once every two weeks to see what kind of uh, crafting supplies they have. And I usually find a lot of good, nice things there. Okay, and also I'm going to be using this, um, I think this is Spellbinders uh, Nest Abilities. It's a labels die. I'm not really sure, so I do have to apologize to y'all for that. But I'm going to be cutting um, out my sentiment with this and putting it on the front of the card. I uh, am also using these adhesive gems. Um, I got these from my local um, Michaels. And these are only about a dollar fifty, I believe. So whenever I go to Michaels, I like to get a couple of these. I just like to stock up because you always can use some bling on your crafts projects. I know I can. And then this is the stamp set that I'm going to use and this is one of my older stamp sets by Inka Dinka Do and um, this one is called Expressions and Frames. So I'm going to use this frame right here and this thank you stamp right here um, for this card. I am going to be using my Momenta 
tuxedo black ink for my sentiments, uh, which I don't know, I was on the fence if I wanted to use black or if I wanted to use color, but I think I want to go with black. So I am going to go ahead and start putting my card together. So I'm going to take this blue base and I have my glue runner. This is a Glue Arts Glue Glider Pro. I went to a scrapbooking convention um, one time and they were selling these and um, I did a class and I fell in love with these. This glue is really good. Um, so I use this and I also use, I, I really can't craft without this 3-in-1 um, glue right here. I use this for most things too. So. But for this quick card tutorial, I will be using my glue runner. So I'm just going to pass my glue around the back of this piece and I'm going to mat it on this aqua color cardstock here. I always do my card panel first and then kind of wait to the end to adhere it to my card front. So this will go mat it right on here. And then I am going to add this piece right here that I wanted to add texture to my card. And I'm going to go down to about right there. So I have to be careful because I almost ran straight through this. I'm going to add my adhesive on there. And I'm just to add that texture, texture to that. Then I'm going to put a piece of ribbon across here. So take my ribbon, it's right here. Ooh, yeah, I think I'm going to start down lower with my ribbon. So my ribbon, I'm just going to add a little glue on either side of the ends of my ribbon like that. And I'm just going to take my card panel and go about right here with that. And I'm just going to lift that up and kind of snugly do that right. smaller piece of ribbon that I cut, I'm just going to slide it right under there and I am going to just tie one knot right there. Just like that. And I'm going to take my scissors and just kind of put the ends of that on. And I usually use a little bit of wet glue on the very ends of my ribbon so they won't fray, but just for this, I don't think I need to do that. Okay, so, so far it's looking like this. Next, what I'm going to do is take a plain piece of white cardstock and I have a And I'm just going to take this piece right here, and I have that, um, I have that thank you sentiment already um, mounted on my stamp press, and this is Fiskars, and I'm just going to ink that up, Oops. I'm just going to ink that up with my memento, my tuxedo black ink. centered on this paper and then we'll run that through the big kick. So I'm just gonna put it right here in the center and just press down. little 
little bit of blue ink on the frame only. Um, and I'm just going to use this uh, Heidi Swap. And this is in the color mint. And it's archival dye ink. Just to add a little bit of color with that black to kind of blend it with my card panels. So I'm going to turn that back over and I'm just going to get it um, lined up here and press. Might even be off a little bit but that's okay. Okay so just like that. I think that looks good just like that. color so let's try it I have the Heidi swap and this is mustard we'll try mustard too y'all can see I'm just going and making it up as I go so, it out. okay so it doesn't have to be perfect because I do want the colors to show so just give that a good press So that's what that looks like. And I'm just going to, one more time, I'm going to put my um, Big Kick right up here. And get that dye that I showed y'all. our label and we are also going to go ahead and add our label to our card panel and I think I want to pop this up so I have a leftover piece from my pop up uh, adhesive or dimensional dots and I use the leftover because it's adhesive and it'll stick just as well as the little dots from the inside so I use it all up <laughs> I get my money's worth so I'm cut a couple of little areas from that little honeycomb and I'm going to use that Stick to stick down. So we'll turn that over and Okay. 
for a little extra added, I have this paper glaze glue. It's it's a, like a glossy accent, but um, I just like to use a few dots just to make sure that my card is going to stay together. Sometimes if, if the temperature changes, the glue runner, the glue from that, the adhesive will stop sticking well. So just going to go ahead and put that down. Okay, push that down. And I like to put a little bit of glue behind where my ribbon is just to keep it in place and to keep it from coming loose. So that'll work good once it dries. So this is what my card looks like so far, but I still think it needs something else. And I like bling, so we will add some bling there. to help me pick up my bling and I think I will go with this one here. That one. We want our bling bling edge. my card for today um, I hope y'all like it um, so don't forget to uh, comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already but this was just my quick and simple or clean and simple uh, greeting card and this is a thank you card so thanks for watching y'all